Hi guys, busy night, busy Saturday night in Scammerland. Um, I've got several different ones, which I'm going to split up into two different videos. But first of all, I want you to meet Jeff Sprung on Facebook. Uh, I have no idea who this guy is. He's apparently a member of some country band in Nashville, I think. Maybe my American viewers can let me know. He tried to follow me, so I sent the usual. I said, apologies, but why are you asking to friend me? I have no idea who you are. How did you find my profile, if I may ask? I know you don't know me and I don't know you too. I went through your profile and saw you're a nice person. I can tell you more about myself if that's what you want. I said, how did you go through my profile when it's private? And I have no idea who you are. I saw your profile photo. I'm a member of Old Dominion Music Band in Nashville, USA. I said, I have no idea who or what that is. Okay, no problem. I've tried to explain myself. You can ask anything you want to know. I said, uh, I've got no idea what to ask. I'm baffled you asked to follow me in the first place. So I take it you're American then. Yes, I'm from American. <laughs> Where are you from? I said, Australia. Are you a musician? Hi, because I didn't answer immediately. I said, no, I'm not. And I'm doing my shopping at the moment, hence the late replies. Okay, I understand. I thought you're a musician like me, LOL. What's your occupation? I said, why would you think that? Around being a musician. I said, sorry, but I've never heard of you. Like, ever. Are you only famous in America? I'm just having the feelings, he says, around why I would be a musician. And yes, I'm famous. I have a group members. <laughs> I said, sorry, what? Didn't get what I have a group members means. I'm a member of Old Dominion Music Band. I have members too in my band, he informs me. I said, you've got interesting followers because I went and had a really detailed look at his profile. And around who he is, I went, oh, okay. And he goes, thank you, around his followers, which, guys, 98% were all young Nigerian men. So please check their followers if their, their profiles are public. I said, it's not a compliment, but sure, you can take it that way. It's just an observation. You've checked my profile? I said, of course, you wanted to follow me. Why wouldn't I? It's public. Sure. Tell me more about ourselves, he says. I said, you've got a lot of Nigerian followers. Didn't know country music was big in Nigeria. And what does ourselves mean? Are you sure you're American? Yes, is big all over the world, he informs me, country music. And yes, I am American. I said, you're not big here. Why are you saying that? I said, because you said you were big all over the world. Be modest, it's better. I'm well known in America. I know why you think so. It's not your fault. I've been lied to so many times. Now I'm trying to be careful this time. I said, I have no idea what that statement meant or what it was referring to, apropos of nothing. I'm not referring to, okay? I said, where in America do you live? I like in Nashville. How about you? I said, we're in Nashville, and I'm a contractor for mining in Western Australia in health and safety, OHS. Green Hills, he says, around Nashville. Good job. Are you married with children? I said, no, I lost my husband in a car accident five years ago, and my daughter is in boarding school in Victoria. Sorry for the lost. I said, yes, terrible lost. I've been single for long. I don't have any children. I haven't been married before. I said, okay, pretty sure you'll find plenty of uh, people in your line of work. I have policy. I like to get to know more. Do you have Telegram? Let's continue our conversation there. I have media team. I check my Facebook once a while, <laughs> he said. I said, I don't use Telegram. It's a skeevy site used by skeevy people. Plus, it's on all the scam watch, watch lists. I only use Google Chat. Okay, no problem. 
I have an app we could chat to. I could send you the app. Maybe you might have it. <laughs> I said, I don't download apps. I use Google Chat because it comes with Gmail and everyone has it. Okay, send me your address. Let me add you. So I sent one of my old ones. Give me a minute. I said, I'm still shopping, so it may take me a while to respond. Once I'm back at quarters, I'll be able to chat. I texted you. I said, yeah, I saw it. I'm driving, so I'll be a bit. Okay, I'll be waiting. Drive safe. And he did. He did message me, and, and I'll see where it goes. I have no idea who this guy is. I might have to Google him, but I don't know if I could be bothered, to be fair. So I'll see where this one goes. It'll be a romance scam, 100%. But... Um, I also got hit up by three different Richard Marks. So meet Richard Marks, private chat number one. So this was late last night. Good day. I'm Rob, a member of Richard Marks' social media management team. I said, prove it, please. Due to the huge number of fakes here, I'll need proof beyond some badly photoshopped imaginary conversation between you and Richard. If he wants to reach out to fans, surely he provided you with means to show it is genuine. How are you doing today? Said our scammer, ignoring that. Us, and I understand that there are a lot of uh, fake profiles pretending to be him, but they're not. They're all counterfeit. <laughs> I said, also fake managers, hence the request for proof. Surely Richard does not expect fans to just believe someone random claiming to be part of his team. That's ludicrous. And please know that a screenshot of some imaginary message is not deemed sufficient. Even I could make one of them on my computer. I'm not that old. I'm sure you'll appreciate the need for this, correct? Yes, you just have to be patient with him. As time goes on, he will do a video call with you. That's the proof. He will be the one to prove himself to you, not me. I said, this is not how it works. Why would I speak with someone who would eventually maybe prove who they are? That's just insane. Surely even you can see that. It appears we are at an impasse, so I bid you good day and good luck with this. It's not maybe. He will eventually make a video call with you to prove to you that it's him. I said the key word being eventually. That implies an unknown amount of time and an unfulfilled assurance. Good luck with this and have a nice day. What did you expect from a public figure? Just to make a video call with you on the first day of the chat without him knowing he can trust you? I said, no, I do not expect a video call. I do, however, expect a man who has repeatedly stated that he will not message nor send any staff to randomly message fans online to have enough intelligence to know that he would be doubted. But I guess I have my answer as to whether this is genuine or not. Thank you and make better choices. Good luck with this. It's genuine, he says. I said, and I'm the Queen of England because I said so. See? LOL, he says. I said, silly, right? I can never doubt you if you're the Queen of England, but the fact that she died made it silly, <laughs> said thou idiot scammer. I said, are you American? That says a lot about you, not me. No, I'm German, he said. You're very rude. I said, brilliant. Call me quickly and let's chat. I know German. I'll ask some questions and we can proceed. I love a German accent. I can't call you okay. That's not part of my job. Shush, he says. I said LMAO, but you can message on social media. Goodbye. He saw that seven hours ago. Admittedly, it's I think one or two in the morning in Nigeria. I don't think he'll be back. But there's another one. Meet Richard Marks. He tried to follow me this morning. Courtesy message, I said. I'm not accepting follow requests from people claiming to be famous unless I have solid proof they aren't fake. Just letting you know that claiming loudly that you are real does not count. Hello, he says. I can give you the proof you need, okay? I said, can you? Okay, what? I can snap a photo holding it and I will write your name on it. How about that? I said, holding what? A sign? Sure, do that. I'll run it through my computer, and if it isn't photoshopped, I'll never question you again. Sweet. This'll be awesome. Okay. Perfect. I will do that okay. 
but tomorrow, okay, sweet? <laughs> Running away like a typical scammer. I said, yes, it's bedtime over there, isn't it? Yes, run away. Okay, my dear. Till tomorrow, talk. <laughs> I said, oh my God, sarcasm just flies over your head, doesn't it? Maybe, <laughs> said our idiot. I will aim sure to keep my promise. I'm a man of my word. I said, we will see, won't we? Yeah, and my mind tells me we're going to get along well, winky face. I said, if this account is still up tomorrow when you wake up. It's late over there, isn't it? About 12.30 a.m. or so. Are you going to report the account, he asks, panicking. I said, if you're real, it shouldn't matter, should it? But no, I'll wait for the proof first. Interjecting here, I reported it, obviously, immediately. The O-N-E people that can disactivate my Axix are my management. Okay, and I will definitely the give you the proof you need, he informs me. I said, LOL, if you say so. You guys must think we're stupid. And around giving the proof, I said, sure, can't wait. I'll boot up my software. Okay, and bet me I'm going to prove to you that I'm not who you think I am. I said, we will see. I'm very confident that you are exactly who I think you are. I bet I can even guess your age. Okay, he said. I said, you've already made several mistakes. Okay, tell me around what age he is. I said, and not realise we cross-posted. I said, if you're over 20, I'll be surprised. You write like a kid who has no idea how the Western world works except through movies and YouTube. But you'll send me proof and prove me wrong, so it'll be fine, right? For a, a verisimilitude. Okay, let's wait till tomorrow. I said, excellent. Can't wait. Okay, he said, and promptly vanished and went to bed. We'll see if he comes back. And short but sweet, again, re, uh, meet Richard Marks. Hello. We get so many reports from our fans about all those fake profiles. Imposting to be me on here. I and my management are working something to put an end to all those imposters. I actually contacted you to tell you this because I noticed your lovely comments on my official Instagram page, dot, 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 dot. If I can trust you with my private Google chat email address for a short Google chat video so you can see my face and know it's really me, dot, dot, dot. Do you have Google chat on your phone? I said, please prove that you are in fact real and not one of those fakes. Otherwise, I'll not proceed. Oh, and proclaiming loudly you aren't a fake does not count. Thank you. You may call me here quickly on video if you like, though I'll be content with a voice note. Thanks. Say, hi, Julia. It's me, Richard Marks. How are you? And I'll hang with you on Google Chat. No problem. I'm busy at the moment. I'll talk to you later, he said. I said, sure. Sure you are. That's what you guys do, isn't it? Say you'll do a video or call and then run away when it's time to do it or when someone calls you out. Goodbye. Sweet dreams over there. And he promptly went away. We'll see if he comes back. I doubt it very much. So that was uh, a couple of interesting ones. I've got another compilation I'm going to do now on frustrated scammers. So talk to you guys soon. Subscribe. Bye.